Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Amuna Project. We're here at the Amuna Project, are continuing in our series of videos with respect to information, education, um, guidance, and advice. And I'm reminded of a story of the Holy Baal Shem Tov. And I, I, I don't know if whether I've told this story in a previous video. I don't think I have. <clears throat> if I have, excuse me, <clears throat> Let someone in the comments section remind me which video it's in, because I don't, I don't, uh, I don't remember. I've so far done 365 videos, so I'm starting to lose track. Anyway, the Holy Baal Shem Tov. Uh, what happened one day is these Hasidim, the followers of his, came to visit the, the Baal Shem Tov, um, and they said to him, listen, um, we live in a far off village, and uh, we come to see you once a year, but we're very far away. We can only come to see you once a year. Um, there's this new rabbi who's just moved to a village near us and is, is much closer. And uh, we'd, we'd like to, it'd be a lot more convenient to, to, to see him. We're still going to come back to see you once a year, but, you know, throughout the year. Um, but the thing is, how do we know whether he's a good rabbi? How do we know whether he's he's good for us? How do how do we test? I mean, how do we know he's legit? The Baal Shem Tov nodded, and he said, um, "Well, there's a test." And he paused and he looked at the Hasidim and he says, "When you daven, when you pray, do you ever experience sometimes that your mind wanders, that?" Uh, uh, thoughts going uh, come through your head and and distractions have it happened and the Hasidim said yes of course it happens he goes okay this is how you're gonna test you go to this new rabbi uh, he's supposed to be some sort of uh, Talmud Chacham a scholar and he says oh yes apparently he has a a very good reputation Baal Shem Tov says great this is what you ask him you ask him if he knows the one surefire cure, the one remedy that would stop these foreign thoughts from entering your head and to allow you to daven, to pray with complete focus, complete uh, concentration and total kavana, total spiritual content. Ask him that question. If he says yes, he knows the, the answer, he knows the cure, ignore him. He's a fake. Struggling with distractions, struggling with uh, concentration and focus is something that we have to struggle with all the days of our lives. There is no cure. That's the test. Um, the, um, the Baal Shem Tov hit upon uh, uh, two important things. Once, of course, is, is, the, uh, is the, uh, the, the admonition that when we daven, when we uh, pray, either set liturgical prayers in a siddur, uh, a prayer book, or whether we're talking to God, his bodhidus, uh, like uh, we do a close uh, a personal friend, keep focused, keep your spiritual intent alive. Don't be distracted. Easy to say, not so easy to do. Um, this story of uh, the Baal Shem Tov reminds me of another test. Uh, this one was um, made by uh, Dr. Yehuda Landes. He was at Stanford. And um, it was a test he used, how to, how to test whether or not uh, you've got a good rabbi or whether this rabbi is, is right for you, whether he's the real McCoy. And he says, um, for this test, you're going to need a stopwatch. <clears throat> you ask the rabbi, do you believe that there is a God? Do you believe in God? Do you believe that the, you know, the creator, the God of Israel, you know, gave us the commandments? Do you believe in God? Start the stopwatch. And then when you hear the word yes, stop the stopwatch and then mark the time. Uh, if the answer comes between one and two seconds, this is why the Jewish people have survived for thousands of years. If the answer is between 
three and 10 seconds, eh, well, maybe the question caught the rabbi off guard, you know? It's still a little up in the air, it depends on the person. 11 seconds to zero, if this guy doesn't believe in God, why have him as a rabbi? That was his test. Um, he had another test. This is not, uh, I don't know, actually, I, I, to tell you the truth, I don't know if this was Dr. Landis or not. This may have been someone else. Um, uh, our test for a rabbi. He says, okay, this is, uh, I'm going to give you a hypothetical. Uh, they've tied you to the stake. There's kerosene-soaked uh, firewood at your feet. The guys in the black hoods are around. And the head guy says, listen, uh, you uh, admit to us that Judaism is a lie, that uh, you don't believe in God, that this is all nonsense, and we'll set you free. What do you say? Start the stopwatch. When you hear the words, Shema Yisrael, Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord is one, or any answer that resembles a firm commitment to God and Judaism, stop the watch and note the time, and that will be an indication. Not exactly a scientific uh, test. And I don't, I, see, the more I think of it, the, the more I think of it. This wasn't uh, uh, Dr. Landa's. This, this was uh, somebody else. But the thing is, you do need to see if the rabbi, the rebbe, the, the congregational leader, the spiritual leader is right for you. Does he reflect your beliefs? Is this someone from whom you can learn to draw yourself closer to the creator? It's a very important question and, so, and not something to be entered into uh, lightly. You're, this is a, hopefully someone who will guide you spiritually. Uh, take it seriously. Um, <clears throat> but um, keep in mind the words of the Baal Shem Tov. And also... Dr. Landis. Uh, we're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Immuno Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much.